little zebra. You say you already know about me? All oh, right, it's because of my stripes. All zebras have black and white stripes, but every zebra has a different stripe design. Baby zebras start out a little bit brownish. I wonder why the zebras are striped. Do you know why? They say we live in Africa. Mummy and the other zebras said that. It's nice and warm here. I like it a lot. Other animals also live here and there's always something exciting going on. Mummy said that we should all go to the river to drink and splash. Mummy usually knows the right thing to do, so I will listen to her and go with the others. Some zebras don't want to go. They say they would rather stay put. They can do whatever they like. I know that the pasture behind the river is much tastier. Mummy said that when we reach the river, we must find a crossing or look for a safe spot to swim across. They say that the place where the river rises is by the springs. Some say that in the mountains, the river there is very shallow, like a brook. Everyone is waiting by the river here to see who will be the bravest one to dive in first. We are waiting as well. There's sometimes a lot of fuss here at the waterhole. Everyone we graze with is here. Mummy, can I borrow your tail so I look prettier? Some have already crossed the river and are now drinking before they go on to graze. I'm not really keen to go into the water because it can be dangerous. I'd rather drink from my mummy. There are huge, strong bad guys in the water. They're called crocodiles and I'm afraid of them. Mummy is afraid as well. They are very hard to see. They swim underwater and move very quickly. Someone just saw one of them and is very scared. Look out! It's swimming in your direction. Mummy said I should stop drinking now because we must go into the water. Though dangerous crocodiles live by the river, many of our friends live here as well. It's because everyone likes the water. Look out! Here comes another crocodile. They won't let us relax. We should leave the water. There is no talking nicely to crocodiles. Hurry! Get out of the water! It's getting closer! Mummy, I'm scared! Tell Auntie to go back on the bank! Everyone is running away! It's not safe in the water when there's a crocodile nearby! Mummy, I'm not going in there! There are crocodiles everywhere and the water is running too fast and deep. We'll have to find a different pasture somewhere else. Mummy said that when I grow up, I'll be able to make it across like other zebras. Oh, Mum, I'm afraid the water will carry me right into the crocodile's mouth. It's not fair that these crocodiles are waiting in the water to catch anyone who comes near them. 
But Mummy says that that's the way life is. Crocodiles live in the water, so they hunt anyone who comes into their space. It's the same as when we graze on our grassy pasture. Luckily, the crocodiles haven't been successful today. All our neighbours cross the river without getting hurt. Hurry, run to your new pasture over there. Looks like not everyone has made it. Some of us have returned to the old pasture. We'll have to try again some other time. We are among the group that was left behind. Mummy sees a bit mad at me, but it's not my fault that I'm so little. I can't become instantly fully grown. There are many dangers in Africa, and not just from the crocodiles. We must watch out for the lions as well. Mummy told me that the best defence against lions is for everyone to stay close to each other in our big herd. If we are together, they don't see us as clearly. Instead of one zebra, they see lots of moving stripes, making it hard for them to aim for just one of us. Sometimes they give up. They just decide to go away and try their luck elsewhere. We have to try elsewhere as well. And we walk there in a huge herd. Even when there are a lot of us, we still walk together. In Africa, you can walk miles and miles and it always feels endless. Zebras love to roll in the dust. It's very good for our skin and our fur. What? You say it just makes us dirty? Well, I don't know what dirty even means. But what I do know is that this way we protect ourselves against the sun and against those little annoying flying things that bite us. Mummy, look! Here's one of our neighbours. I guess he didn't cross the river either. And he's even bigger than I am. And there are many full-grown zebra who returned as well. There's so much space in Africa that even if we don't cross the river, there will always be somewhere to go to find a good bit of new pasture. Mum, what are you saying? Are you mad at me? Okay, okay. I'll stop finding reasons why it's better to stay here. But look at the juicy grass we've just found. Okay, I'm not saying a word. Zebras live on the savannah. What was that? Before I said we lived in Africa? Well, Mummy said that Africa is a continent. And the savannah is a grassy place on this continent with perfect living conditions for all of us. I don't understand that part so much. But what I do know is that we don't get much rain here and that there are almost no trees. The buffaloes say that we should watch out for the hyenas. My older zebra friend is not afraid, but I'd rather stay close to my mummy because I'm not so sure what hyenas are. Mummy says that hyenas are dangerous for us as well. Mummy just wants me to be careful. She's not trying to scare me. The hyenas sneak around us, but they also know that we can run fast and defend ourselves when we have to. Sometimes, zebras even fight among themselves. What? You don't believe it? We have special games and duels we undertake when we need to clear the air or show off our social status with the herd. Look!
but most of the time we are kind and nice to each other. When I'm bigger, like the neighbour here, I will care for my mummy like she now cares for me. My mummy is the greatest mum of all. Her stripes are the most beautiful in all of Africa. If she found herself mixed in with some other herd, I would still be able to immediately find her. You may be wondering how that's possible. You think it's because of the stripes? No, silly. It's because she is my mummy. Mrs. Lioness is checking us out. I guess she's having trouble recognizing individual zebras among all the stripes. Maybe that's why we've got them. Mummy, why are zebras striped? Mummy thinks it's because stripes suit us. I think so too. Look how pretty the stripes are. My zebra friends say i better say goodbye to you now. We have to leave through a very long journey through the savannah. I bet we will meet many new friends. I'm so excited. So goodbye, have a lovely striped day, and don't forget your friends, the zebras.